adding forms to your Convertry page is easy and fully customizable. There are two elements to every form. Form inputs, which are the elements you drag onto your page for your prospects to interact with, and the behind the scenes forms configuration. There are two ways to configure your form before you add inputs to your page, API or HTML. Form APIs let you connect to popular services for integration and HTML lets you embed your own form code. So to connect your service via API, click on the Forms button in the top toolbar. And in the Configure Forms dialog, click on the type of service you want to integrate, autoresponder or webinar. Then choose your service from the menu. If you haven't integrated your service already, you'll be prompted to open integrations in a new tab. You can integrate your services or remove them at any time by heading back to the dashboard and clicking integrations in the left hand menu. Now, depending on the service you connect, you'll be prompted to choose the list you want your form to add prospects to. Next, connect the form fields in your service to the form inputs you'll add to your Convertry page. When you select a field type here, that's the field the information will be entered into in the autoresponder or webinar service. If you want to collect information that doesn't have a corresponding field type, you can use any one that isn't already mapped and match it using the properties panel when your form input elements are selected. Some form fields are fixed, so they cannot be changed. When you're done, click on post submission redirect to enter the URL of the page you want your prospects taken to after they click submit. Then click done. Your form is now connected to your page and you can add form inputs. If you want to connect your service via HTML, click on the forms button in the top toolbar. And in the configure forms dialog, click on forms, then new form, then form from HTML code. Give your form a name. Paste in the HTML code for your form. Then click Create. Click on the small arrow to the right of your form name to connect it to the page. Your form is now connected to your page and you can add form inputs. When a form is successfully connected to your page, a red check mark will appear on the Forms button in the top toolbar. So once you've connected a form service or HTML form, it's time to add the form inputs. These are the elements your prospects will interact with on the page. So in the page builder, click on the form elements button in the elements tray and choose the input you want to add first, then drag it onto your page. In the properties panel, click on form field settings And this is where you can map your form fields to the values you assigned when you configured your form service. Assigned field types will be shown in bold on the drop down. Choose your field type to make sure the input is sent to the form service correctly. If you want to collect information that doesn't have a corresponding field type, you can use any one that isn't already mapped and match it using the forms dialog. Choose whether this field is required and whether you want the field validated, i.e. as a real email address. Credit card input form elements are already mapped to your payment processor settings, so they don't need to be configured. Likewise, submit buttons have only one function, to send any data entered, but you can change the text by clicking on General Properties. You can also add a bump sale by first assigning a product to the page by using the products button in the top toolbar and dragging over a bump sale element to create a checkbox, which when selected will add an additional purchase to a customer's order.